Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much again for joining me. So today's video is very exciting. We are unboxing something that we've not yet unboxed on this channel. It is Cauldron Crate. This is something that I discovered very recently and it's something that I'm very, very excited to get into because I have literally no idea what is going to be in this box. This is supposed to be Goblet of Fire themed, so I'm very, very excited because it is one of my favourite books from the series. And yeah, I'm just going to get straight into it, guys. Okay, so Cauldron Crate. I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek. Ooh, is it sealed? No, it's not. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, okay, what's on top? Is that... Oh, this might be the spoiler card. Right, I think that's the spoiler card. I didn't get a, too much of a sneak peek of that. Inside, I have blue tissue paper because, as you know, I am a Ravenclaw. And inside... Oh, my God, this looks cool. Okay, wow, okay, it has my name on it. Oh, my God, I just realised what that is. That is so cool. My name came out of the Goblet of Fire. How awesome is that? That is super, super cool. That is just so, so cool. Because I would never literally have thought of doing anything like that before at all. That is just absolutely fab. What a great start. Something really, really simple, but it makes it such an amazing start to the box already. And on top, I'm seeing this little parcel. We have a Ravenclaw Eagles sticker on here. And we also have a Hogwarts sticker here with all the different... Um, I was going to say flags, but not flags, like banners, uh, with all the different Hogwarts houses on it. And it's ended up with a very, very cute piece of twine. I wonder what could be in here. Okay. Right, what is in this mystery parcel? Oh, this is cute. Look, I think it's a book cover. That is really ducky and cute, and it's a Ravenclaw themed. I absolutely love it. It has got the Ravenclaw, it's a raven on here, instead of it being an eagle like it was on the package. But never be mind, I still do love the, the raven as well. But that, yeah, it's super cozy actually. I want to sleep with that. That is super, super cozy. What a great item. Okay, the next thing I am seeing is this little envelope. It has a lot of stamps on here, and it says Mr. and Mr. Dursley, number four, Privet Drive, Little Whingin, Surrey. I've got a feeling this is the letter that Arthur Weasley sends to the Dursleys. So I'm going to open it on up and see what it is. Ooh, don't drop it. Oh, it's from Molly Weasley. Okay, that's fine. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Dursley, we have never been introduced, but I'm sure you've heard a great deal from Harry about my son, Ron. As Harry might have told you, the final of the Quidditch World Cup takes place this Monday night and my husband, Arthur has just managed to get prime tickets through his connections at the Department of Magical Games and Sports. So it's the letter that Molly sends the Dursleys to get permission for Harry to go to the Weasley's house to attend the Quidditch World Cup. That is super sweet. I won't read it all because obviously it's quite a long little letter. Um, but yeah, this is so cute. And it says at the bottom, P.S. I do hope we've put enough, enough stamps on. How cute is that? Oh, bless her. That is really, really sweet. I do love little paper replicas like this. It's something that you don't normally see when you go to shops or anything along those lines. And it's always fun to get this kind of thing in a subscription box. Okay, so there's a lot of wiggly worms here now. So I'm going to move some of this out of the way. Oh, that's cute. There's all sorts of little packages in here wrapped up in the blue tissue paper. So ooh, what's that? I've just pulled out. Ooh, ooh. Sorry, this just popped out when I pulled this out. So I'm going to open this on up. I don't... I wonder if you guys can guess what this is already. Ta-da! It's the piece of paper that comes out with Fleur's name on it for the Goblet of Fire. How cute is that? Apparently they hand some of these out sometimes in the studio tours, but apparently, I'm not sure how correct I'm thinking this, but apparently they're quite hard to get hold of. So this is really, really sweet and I really love that. And it says Fleur, I can never pronounce her surname, but Delacour. And yeah, it's really sweet. There's even got like little burn singed edges, edges on there as well. So yeah, that is really cute. Fabulous. So back to the little parcel that I had a minute ago. So I'm just going to open this on up. What do we have in here? There's a little piece of paper ooh, that I'm dropping. And we have, ooh, potion bottles. Okay, these are cute. Ooh, okay, so we've got aging potions. We've got two. I don't know why they're different colours. It could just be... Because the bottles are identical. So we've got aging potion there and an aging potion there. 
One has got like this uh, lilac-y purple, um, mystical looking potion inside. And the other one has got a blue, almost, it's almost like a little bit of a purpley tinge this one as well. They're very, very pretty. Um, I do really like them actually. They've got the triangle around, they've got the cork stoppers. They look really, really sweet. And I think there's something that I will definitely, well, 100% be displaying on my potion shelf. I do have my own version of the Asian potion, but they're definitely not as cute as these. I think these are really, really sweet. I just don't get why there's two of them and why they're different colors. But other than that, they're really, really lovely and I will definitely be displaying those. The little piece of paper that fell out with them, does it say anything on here or is it just... Okay, so it says Slug and Jigger's Apothecary. It says, our two favorite customers, enclosed is your order of our famous Asian potion. It should fall that pesky age line. Please drop by soon. I have a new shipment, which I think you'll both find very interesting. Yours, Mr. Jigger. So obviously it's a little letter to Fred and George Weasley because they um, attempt to cross the age line of the Goblet of Fire. So yeah, that's pretty cool too. Digging through, because we do still have a couple of items in here. I'm just trying to see how many we do have. Ooh, we have a weird little flat tissue paper covered item and we also have a blue pretty much flat I'm gonna pop them to one side a minute just while I assess what's in here Ooh, we have a cute little baggie here and it's full of what I'm assuming are stickers I'm just gonna pull these out and have a look at those next so we have oh that's kind of cool it's got all the house um animals on there and a couple of ones at the top so obviously you've got the lion in the middle, you've got the badger right on top, you've got the snake going all the way around, and then you've got a raven just at the bottom there. That's pretty cool. Ooh, we've got a Hungarian horn tail. We have Harry in his Yule Ball robes. We have a Daily Prophet sign. We have a Madame Malkin's robes for all occasions sign. We have the Triwizard Cup, the Dark Mark. Uh, the egg from the second or first or second task, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> and then we have the goblet of fire. They're all pretty cool. I like those. Okay, so moving some more of these wiggly worms out of the way because they are literally everywhere. Okay, so the next item I have here is another item wrapped in tissue paper. Pull it out. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so you have a little pot. I'm assuming this is a candle because I have heard they do candles. Yes, it's a candle. So it says common room and it's... Earl Grey and old books. I'm assuming that's the scent. Ooh, actually smells really pretty. I wouldn't expect old books to smell like that. That's quite floral almost, but it's a very pretty smell and it's a very pretty candle. It's got, it's obviously blue. It's got like a bronzy stripe going through the middle and on the top it's got like a bronzy glitter as well, which is really, really pretty. I really like that. That's something that's really, really sweet. I was, I never really know what to do with these kind of candles because I think to myself, do I burn them or don't I burn them? Because that's what candles are for. I always buy candles and I always burn them. But when I get candles like this, I just think, oh, do I or don't I burn it? Because I had a um, love potion candle in my Lit Joy Crate box a couple months back and I haven't burnt it. It's still in my uh, in my cabinet and it's next to my, my love potion. And they look really cute together and I don't really want to burn it, but it smells amazing. So a part of me really wants to burn it. So what would you guys do? Would you burn it or wouldn't you burn it? Would you just keep it? Moving some more of these wiggly worms out of the way. I'm not sure if we have anything left in this, but ooh, okay. We have this left. Ooh, and I've got two things down here as well. And there's something at the bottom. What is this? We have another envelope at the bottom. Is that everything from this box? They put so many wiggly worms in here. No, it's not. I see, they put so many wiggly worms in here. You just don't know what you're going to get. Oh, these are cool. I really like this idea. This is really sweet. So we've got a sterling silver set of Durmstrang earrings. Obviously, you can see there, if they stay still, it's the ship from Durmstrang. That's super cute. I would never have thought about putting something like that in a subscription box. That's really lovely. This box is just amazing. I'm just so, so happy with this box. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four items left. We have a black stick looking thing, a black flat thing, a blue flat thing, and an envelope. So I'm gonna go with the black flat thing. See what this is. Ooh, what is this? Okay, I'm not 100% sure what this is yet. Ooh, is that a dragon? Looking at it that way, it just, yeah, that's obviously a dragon. I still don't know what that stands for. Am I being daft? 
Oh, it's a bookmark. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I just realised what that is. So yeah, it's a little magnetic bookmark. So obviously you just pop it over your page and obviously then it clips together. I've got a feeling it's the Welsh Green Dragon. I can't remember what the C stands for, but I'm pretty sure that's something Welsh Green Dragon. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. So again, really, really cute item. And I am Welsh, so bonus. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go for the blue fat thing now as well. Open this one up. Is it a pin? It is. Oh my God, that's so cool. Okay, so we've got an Island Champions 1994 pin. It's obviously a little leprechaun hat. We've got a four leaf clover, or actually that's a three leaf clover, so technically that's wrong. Um, and then we have the golden snitch as well, because obviously Island won that year. So that is such a cool, cool pin. It's really heavy as well. It's got two pins on the back, because obviously the weight of that is quite heavy. So yeah, that is super cute. Love it. Okay, we'll go for this item next. What does it say? Ooh, it says on here, the unforgivable curse, right there. You can't probably see it, but it does have a very small sticker on there that says the unforgivable curse. Let's open this on up and see what we are dealing with. Ooh, they're cool. Oh, they're so nice. Okay, so we have pencils and one that says Imperio. We have Avada Kedavra, and we have Crucio. So yeah, they're really sweet. I didn't expect that to be pencils. I don't know what I was thinking that could have been, but I didn't expect pencils, but yeah, they're cool. Okay, and we are down to our last item, this lovely envelope. Ooh, okay. Oh, right, okay, I think this is a print then. That is both terrifying and cool at the same time. So it's quite dark, but if you can see, obviously there through the clearing is the dark mark. And down here we have Harry, Ron and Hermione. Um, I'm just seeing if there's anything else I can spot on here because it is a dark image. No, that is pretty much the gist of it. But yeah, that is really, really cool. It's probably not something that I would display personally because with these kind of prints, I'm, I'm not into sort of the darker... Um, prints and the darker items so it's not something that personally would go up on my wall but I can appreciate the print it is quite a cool print like I said the the dark mark is like the dominant feature in this print and obviously then you can see just Harry Ron and Hermione at the bottom obviously they're in a wooded area as well and um, so yeah that is really really lovely okay so I'm just gonna quickly go through the cheat sheet just to make sure that everything uh, was in my box and I didn't miss out on anything um, so we've got the Island Champion pin, which is a super cool, brilliant idea. Uh, the House Common Room candle, absolutely gorgeous. The Aging Potion replica, absolutely amazing again. I don't quite still understand why we got two. I mean, I know that Fred and George each had one, but I don't quite understand why we've got two and why they're different colours. But they're very, very pretty and they will definitely, definitely be featuring on my magical shelves. I love them. Uh, the Sterling Silver Bulgarian Ship Earrings, again, a super cool item. The French Magic Score Fire Note Replica, so obviously that's Fleur's little piece of parchment. The Personalised Fire Note. Ooh, I didn't get that. Where is that? Oh, I'm being silly. It's that. <laughs> Ignore me. I'm having a moment. Okay, then we have the Dragon Bookmark by Jessica Jade Designs. It doesn't state which dragon is on there, but I do think I've got the Welsh green. Um, I just can't remember again what that C stands for, but I'll double check it later. We've got the Dark Mark Art, the Unforgivable Pencils, brilliant idea. The World Cup Invitation Replica, again, amazing. I love having paper replicas. It's something that, again, you don't see in a shop normally, so getting them in these kind of boxes is really cool. And we've got the Book for Sticker Set. Oh, book four. I thought it was only four stickers, wasn't it? I got a lot more than four. No, book four sticker set. So that's cool. And the house book sleeve. A cosy, handmade, house-inspired book sleeve to protect your favourite reads. I love it. Super cute. Well, what did I think of this box? Well, it's great value for money. I mean... I think this one is just a little bit cheaper than the Geek Gear boxes. I can't remember specifically at the top of my head now how much it was exactly, but it was cheaper than the Geek Gear boxes. We had 12 items in this box as well. 
and yeah everything is really really cool and there's some great great replicas in here as well a few of them being paper replicas but I'm not mad by that at all I do like a paper replica it's something that you don't normally get when you're out and about so I do enjoy those the potions are just super cute I can't wait to put them on my shelves the book sleeve is lovely really really cozy again i just kind of want to wrap my pillow in it it won't fit but i want to put this in my like on my pillow it just looks so super cozy and warm and um, the candle is really beautiful the stickers are really cool as well i didn't think i'd get excited about stickers but yeah the stickers are really cool and the fact that i have my own name that has come out of the goblet of fire I'm very pleased about that. I'm going to go and get myself all brushed up ready to go for the Triwizard Tournament because I've got a lot of studying to do. Those challenges were hard. So yeah, I'm really, really, really pleased with this box, guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this unboxing. Let me know what your favourite items were. And yeah, thank you so much again for watching, guys. I will be back soon. Bye.